Oh my, so little time, so many questions. Peyton, I'm coming your way first. Was there any particular scene in season five where it was most difficult to reflect all of the layers of Tori's situation? The connection to Greece, pretending to be a good student at Cobra Kai, and also conveying how she's really feeling about what she's doing. Perry, yes. Every <laughs> single day, every single scene, I just thought, how could someone balance all of this? How am I hiding this? Am I hiding this well? Is Tori a good actress? What's happening? Like, I just felt like there was so much happening in my head and I was so overwhelmed and, and stressed as the character that it, it was it was hard to keep her life together while knowing I'm a high school student on top of all of that and having my mother to take care of at home. So there was just a lot for Tori. Worth every ounce of stress. It all comes through quite beautifully. All right, Sholo for you now. So Miguel and Robbie have obviously fought before, but the one in the apartment complex definitely feels a little different to me because it mirrors a very, very specific major change in their relationship. So how does having a fight like that so heavily tied to the character's evolution impact your work when you're tackling the really difficult stunt work also? I, I, you bring up a really great point. I think this was one of the first times in a while that Tanner and I had been able to fight just the two of us. Cause usually, you know, we, we fought almost every season, but usually it's in the midst of Mary or Peyton or, or the whole gang. So I think with this fight, it feels a lot more intimate and a lot more, you know, the, the need to want to win was, was there for the both of us. And I think, uh, it ended up being like one of my favorite fights that we've done in the whole show. It, it came out really, really great. And uh, getting to, you know, we filmed it chronologically. So by the end, we really were like, okay, I forgive you. Let's just stop right now. Uh, but, uh, you know, Tanner's a, he's a, he performs so well when it comes to, you know, the fights and, and it's awesome getting to, to work alongside him. So I'm, I'm glad that we're on the same side now. At least for at least for the moment. Is it very rare for you to film a fight scene like that chronologically? Um, I'd say the. I don't know if it's rare. I think it's. I, we're so used to doing stuff out of order that sometimes it feels a little refreshing to be like, "All right, we got that piece. Now this is the next piece. This, this, and this." But no, usually it's usually it's not necessarily in order. That's one thing that turns my brain to mush. I don't know how you guys do your jobs in general, but when you like mush everything together, then it's just like, I can't even process it. Mm -hmm. uh, another stunt question. I'll throw your way, Jacob. So this might be me overthinking things a little bit, but Hawk has been involved in a whole lot of stunts where he is the powerhouse. And even when he takes hits, he bounces right back and gets right back to it. So what's the difference between selling those kinds of hits and then selling the one where Kenny punches him with Terry's uh, silver bullet? Yeah, that was hard. That was hard for me to like, to like pretend that he's yeah, yeah. I don't know, to pretend being her. I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> I guess this hurts a lot. <laughs> It's not physically difficult. It was almost <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's emotionally <laughs> difficult. I'm like, Hawk would never go down. Um, it is, I mean, it's very different. I think that's sort of part of Hawk's sort of arc this season is, you know, he's just off of a huge win and he's able to take hits and he always comes back and, you know, he goes to the dark side and then comes back to the good side. But, you know, I think now he's facing someone who has this hidden jutsu that just you know, absolutely paralyzes him. And I think that's hard for him to come to terms with, you know, like he freaking lost. And I think he's a little overconfident in the season. And, you know, I think that definitely led to, I mean, even like the first time uh, I fight Dallas, like I'm just kind of like blocking and not really caring. And then I get clocked a little bit, you know, um, I think that's foreshadowing to him. Just going. I got high hopes for a lot more growth for him in the future. This time. Me too. Uh, Hopefully I win. <laughs> Gianni. So at this point, Dimitri has his friends back. He's got his girlfriend. He's got a whole bunch of super cool senseis. Whether it's someone in the group that I just mentioned, or maybe someone I'm not even thinking about, who do you think Dimitri would benefit the most from spending more time with in season six? Oh, God. Um, I mean, you know, like you said, yeah, Dimitri's life is going pretty well right now. That's uh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a lot of drama going around. <laughs> A lot of that going on in this area. Um, geez, I don't know. I mean, I love me personally. I love working with Billy a lot. Oh yeah, 
<laughs> with Carmen. Um, no, I, I love working with Billy a lot, and uh, I really like seeing uh, his relationship, Dimitri's relationship with Johnny uh, when he sells him the phone, and how they kind of have like that softer moment right there. Um, so I don't know what he could benefit from that. Maybe he'll become a little bit more badass. Maybe he'll learn to step outside of himself a bit more. Uh, it's something I think Johnny does really well. So yeah, maybe you could learn a thing or two from him. I would love to watch more Dimitri and Johnny. It's a, they're a that's, great that's pair. That's one of my favorite scenes of yeah? the Thank season. You. Yeah. Thank you. All right, I'm going to try to do it and see if someone yells at me. Mary, I have the two. Hi, Perry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry about that. I, say, I think we're talking again, Mary. That's why I yes, saved you for laugh, just sure. in case I that am. happens. All good. I'll see you later, Perry. Bye. All right. Congrats, Bye. guys. See you soon.